all. Yes. <laughs> Somebody still believe in the lie, aren't they? <laughs> See, I wasn't a resident of Washington State, right? We lived on Guam. <laughs> now, there's this oath, Article 19, the judge advocate or general or special court marshal shall administer the, minister, the members of the court. Yeah. Before they proceed upon any trial following oath or affirmation, you oh, <laughs> do swear or affirm that you will well and truly try and determine, according to the evidence, <laughs> the matter now before you. Oh between the United States of America and the person to be tried and that you will duly administer justice without uh, partiality, favor, or affection according to the provisions of the rules and articles for the government of the armies of the United States. And if any doubt should arise, not explained by these articles, then according to your conscience, the best of your understanding, the custom of war in like cases, and uh, you do further swear or affirm that you will not divulge the findings or sentence of the court until they shall be published by the proper authority, except to the judge advocate and assistant judge advocate. Neither will you disclose or discover the vote of opinion of any particular member of the court-martial unless required uh, to give evidence thereof as a witness by a court of justice in due course of law so help you god <laughs> now these oaths that they administer yes <laughs> i know clallam county saying that uh, <laughs> the united states navy has no jurisdiction in this county and the sheriff is absolutely sure that the United States Navy has nothing to say about what this judiciary does. <laughs> but they administer that oath to each and every individual. <laughs> now, there's probably a slight variation of it today because that document was from probably 100 years ago. <laughs> but let's say that you decide to issue a court order where you allege that I committed domestic violence and child abuse. <laughs> And under the penalty of perjury, you believed every fucking thing she said. Everything. <laughs> the problem was, as soon as my record was expunged, everything that was said, every document and every court hearing was fraudulent. <laughs> See, when my record was expunged, the arrest was sealed. So everything you've done as a judiciary, <laughs> when you when you decided that I was the exception, that you weren't going to enforce the, the actual acts, <laughs> proceedings of a United States territory. <laughs> Anything and everything that has happened in that court did not have <laughs> the actual enforcement of the penalty of perjury. Pooch, you can't say that I committed domestic violence when my record was expunged <laughs> because the court finds based upon the evidence... <laughs> See, it, it says that on the protection order, and if you don't give me my sons today, <laughs> I'm going to have to go to the food bank. Yes. And then I'm thinking I'm going to the clothing bank. Ooh. <laughs> and then I'm going to make my way up to the library, <laughs> and I'm going to stomp the motherfucking shit out of all of you right now. You understand? Now, every court hearing you had after my record was expunged, yes, was a lie. Ooh. Everything you did was a lie. <laughs> And that means that I can sue you. Ooh. Ooh.